Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you the symbols on a multimeter. This will be an easy tutorial and I will be going over what the symbols on a multimeter mean. So I commonly get asked that question, what do the symbols on a multimeter mean? And I'm going to be showing you exactly what they mean. Let's get right into the video. First and foremost, this symbol up here usually means uh, when you're looking at a power source, it usually means an open circuit, which means that it is off. Okay, so you can see the multimeter is off right now. Now on most multimeters, you're not going to see those letters there, but you're going to see a symbol like this right here. And that symbol actually represents DC voltage. Now on this multimeter, they've actually labeled it with DC, but even if you don't see DC, um, that symbol right there in itself represents DC voltage. And you'll see all of these numbers right over here um, that allow you to select which DC voltage you want to be working with. You can select which DC voltage you want to be working with, okay? Obviously, the bigger the number, for the most part, the, the bigger the voltage that you're going to be dealing with, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll keep going. We're going to move on to this side right here now like I said sometimes you're not going to see those letters but that symbol in itself okay the V with the little squiggly line on top that actually represents AC voltage now once again um, if I move my finger you'll see that this multimeter has actually labeled it AC okay so this one says AC but even if you don't see that that symbol in itself right over there represents AC voltage. Once again, you have a few options over here. Um, if you're using a digital multimeter, the options might be like based on buttons and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm um, continuing forward. We're going to move on over here. Now, usually you won't have the word ohms there, but you're going to see that symbol. Now that symbol is actually the omega and that actually stands for ohms. Okay, like I said on this multimeter it says ohms, but even if you don't see that, that is how you're going to be measuring ohms. Okay, and uh, it is the symbol for omega and ohms is usually the unit um, that you are going to use when you're measuring something like resistance. Okay, so resistance is measured in ohms. Once again, you have many options over there. Okay, just so it's absolutely very clear okay now moving forward once again um, as you can see over here we have an A with a little dotted line and then a solid line on top of it and that actually stands for DC current okay so that's DC current now um, as you can see right here um, you have a few options that stands for DC current and if you actually had an A with a squiggly line like that on top of it, that would actually stand for AC current. But I don't have that option on this multimeter right over here. Okay, um, what you have right over here is actually the symbol for a diode. And that is how you perform a diode test, okay? Um, however, um, because this multimeter does not have a, um, a continuity test specifically, you can use the diode test as a continuity test. So this is the diode symbol, like I said, right over here. Um, and because this multimeter does not have a specific continuity test, you can use the diode test as a continuity test. It, it works really, really well, and it's, it's that's what I've always used as a continuity test. Um, some multimeters will have a separate, separate um, symbol um, for a continuity test, which sort of looks like a, like a dot with, an, with some like wavelengths beside it, okay? Now looking at the bottom over here, you have something that says COM, which stands for common, um, and that's basically where you're going to plug the uh, black probe into. So if you have a, you're going to plug it into the common right here, okay? And it actually shows the uh, maximum right there. You can see it says 500 volt max, okay? Um, and then over here, you have a different uh, option, and then like you have two options for the red. It depends what you want to use it for, but you're going to... Um, Sorry, I'm just taking a look at my daughter. She likes watching me make videos. She's a little bit sick. I just want to make sure she's okay. Yep, she's playing again. All right. Um, so uh, you have two options for the red jack, and it all depends on what you want to measure. But as you can see, you have uh, what you want to measure on top, and you just plug it in. So if I wanted to measure right here, I'd plug it in here. And if I wanted to measure over here, I'd plug it in here. Once again, you can see I can measure uh, volts. I can measure uh, resistance in terms of ohms. I can uh, also uh, measure um, uh, mini volts or millivolts, depending on what you want, or milliamps, depending on what you're looking at. But that's basically it. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.